Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Ari Yates. This episode will be going out on Remembrance Sunday, and it is with this in mind I would like to read to you the following poem. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row and row, that mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead short days ago, we lived for dawn, so sunset glow. Loved and were loved, and now we lie in flood this fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours, to so hold it high. If ye break faith, or those who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in flood this fields. There will also be a two minute silence after this introduction. To help us to think about the people who have fought for something they believe in throughout the world. So I hope that you will join us in just taking out two extra minutes to join us in silent prayer. It's Leviticus 24 today. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus chapter 24 He always spoke to Moses saying Command the children of Israel that they bring to you pure olive oil beaten for the light to cause a lamp to burn continually outside of the veil of the testimony in the tent of meeting shall and keep it in order from evening to morning before Yahweh continually it shall be a law forever throughout your generations he shall keep in order the lamps of the pure gold lampstand before Yahweh continually. He shall take fine flour and bake twelve cakes of it. Two tenths of an ephah shall be in one cake. He shall set them in two rows, six on a row, on the pure gold table before Yahweh. He shall put pure frankincense on each row, that it may be on the bread of, for a memorial, even an offering made by fire to Yahweh. Every Sabbath day, he shall set us in order before Yahweh continually. It is on behalf of the children of Israel an everlasting covenant. It shall be for Aaron and his sons. And they shall eat it in a holy place. For his most holy to him are the offerings of Yahweh made by fire for an everlasting law. The son of an Israelite woman, whose father was an Egyptian, went out among the children of Israel. And the son of the Israelite woman and a man of Israel strove together in the camp. The son of the Israelite woman blasphemed the name, and cursed, and they brought him to Moses. 
His mother's name was Shilomith, the daughter of Debri, of the tribe of Dan. They put him in custody until Yahweh's will should be declared to them. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Bring out of the camp him who cursed, and let all who heard him lay their hands on his head. Let all the congregation stone him. You shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, Whoever curses his God shall bear his sin. He who blasphemes Yahweh's name, he shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall certainly stone him. The foreigner, as well as the native-born, when he blasphemes the name, shall be put to death. He who strikes any man mortally shall surely be put to death. He who strikes an animal mortally shall make it good, life for life. If anyone injures his neighbour, as he has done, so shall it be done to him. Fracture for fracture, eye for eye, and tooth for tooth. As he has injured someone, so shall it be done to him. He who kills an animal shall make it good, and he who kills a man shall be put to death. You shall have one kind of law for the foreigner, as well as the native born. For I am Yahweh your God. Moses spoke to the children of Israel, and they brought out him who had cursed out of the camp, and stoned him with stones. The children of Israel did as Yahweh commanded Moses. Mm -hmm.